guys, welcome back to some Play Inc. And I'm kind of sorry about the audio. I will be getting a microphone soon, so stay tuned for that. But today we are going to be playing some more Play Inc. I'm going to be teaching you how to be to get a vict to get a victory on normal for the parasite disease. So, and if you guys aren't regular here, if you're new, um, my, uh, the channel name is, as you probably already know, is I Love Smoothies, which I do. Um, this is a gaming channel, and we're gonna, and in this video, I'm obviously gonna teach you how to get a victory on normal with the parasite virus in Plague Inc. So, r hop right into the video. The first thing you want to do is start in India, the same as the fungus strategy. So, go ahead and start in there. Go up to the top right and speed it up. And, um, <clears throat> Also, by the way, guys, if you do find yourself enjoying this video, please go ahead, like, and subscribe. No jeans are needed for this video, and you also kind of want to devolve every single um, symptom. But the first thing you want to do is do the symbiosis one, because you might be thinking, oh, you you always want to get it transmission transmitted faster no it doesn't matter how long it takes you you do not have a time time limit you always want to get the symbiosis first which makes the parasite become more tuned or in tuned or like kind of connected and unnoticeable with its host and it makes it less likely to be noticed so go ahead and get symbiosis one and just keep saving up and keep saving until you can get the symbiosis two and then three you always want to get the symbiosis first that is your number one priority so it does not or so doctors do not um find out about your parasite and as you can see the parasite still is spreading rather quickly so you and also it's at the beginning so it doesn't really matter um mass panic over 3d printed robot robotic juicer okay that's pretty cool i will admit i wish that we had that in real life but once you get symbiosis 3 i want you guys to save up your dna until you can afford water one and that's important to save up to water one. But you also want to devolve all symptoms, like I said. Plus, it'll give you more DNA points in the long run, which makes it just an easier trip down the road to victory. So, it makes it quicker, easier, and everything. So, you want to save up till you can get water one, but if it's... If you were feeling a bit unpatient, you can always get Livestock 1. So, that's fine. If you want to get Livestock 1, you can. But then, once we get that, once you get Water 1, you want to save up for Cold Resistance 1. Because towards the middle of the country, it's getting a bit colder, so... Or towards the middle of the land, it's getting a bit closer... Or colder, so go ahead and evolve cold resistance one, and that's good enough for now. And as you can see, we are getting, we're infecting rather quickly. We have 26 million daily infections, which is pretty good right off the bat. And since it hasn't been detected yet, it doesn't really matter. So, the next thing you want to do is get air one, and then save up for water two, which is... If you haven't memorized it by now, it is always going to be 17 po DNA points after you evolve Water 1 and Air 1. So, yeah. Now, back into the game. We just infected the U.S. And the reason you always want to start in India because it has the highest 
population per country. As you can see here, China has a one billion four hundred and thirteen million people in um India has one billion four hundred and fifty seven people. So that's about a thirty ish million difference. So go ahead and get water too and keep saving. And if you're wondering how, why, oh wait, oh my gosh, look at that, 4,444, that's actually kind of cool, but that's because of natural disasters like earthquakes, tsunamis, so yeah, that's because of that, a rash symptom mutated, like I said, you always want to evolve your symptoms, that's going to make it easier and a shorter path to victory. And make sure to subscribe for almost daily content and sometimes a few times a day. And I will be getting a microphone soon, so if you guys want to stay tuned for that, please do. And if any of you guys live in Coeur d'Alene, Ohio, please let me know because that's where I'm moving. But after you get um, those four... You don't want any more. You want to get cold resistance too. And as soon as you start to infect more countries and getting more DNA, you want to start evolving drug resistance, which I can evolve when I get one more DNA point. So let's go ahead and evolve that. And the reason you want to get drug resistance right off the bat is because as soon as they start to work on the cure, it's going to be harder for them to make a cure, and the drug resistance makes it spread faster in richer countries. And when you you get genetic hardening, it makes it harder for them to process and make a cure. And do we have Greenland yet? No, we don't, but that's okay. But we can get genetic hardening one, which is kind of good right off the bat, so it's hard for the... So it slows it down right off the bat, and they don't get a higher cure percentage, which makes you get a higher score. So, yeah. And if you guys want more Play Gink on this channel, go ahead and let me know by dropping a like, subscribing. So, you, for, we can defeat, what is it? I, I don't remember, is it the nanovirus? No, 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 I think it might be the bioweapon. Yeah, it might be the bioweapon. But go ahead and devolve the rash symptom. And you want to start saving up t now because, well, for obvious reasons, to win the game and get to killing meta. And if you guys haven't, uh, if this is your first time watching a Plague Inc. video, please go ahead and watch those other three that I've uploaded on this channel. They are pretty good in my opinion. And you guys don't have to watch them, but I would prefer if you do, so, yeah. And we are officially taking over West Africa rather quickly. And New Zealand. New Zealand always sucks to take over. It's always Angola, Angola, New Zealand, Greenland, Canada, and the U.S. And this Sweden and Norway. And sometimes Finland. But not all, all the time Finland. Sometimes. But go ahead and devolve all your symptoms like I said. It's just going to help you in the long run. And if, and if you guys don't know about the killing meta. Here on my channel. Um, I have created a kind of a bit of a meta to kill very very fast and win as I believe the quickest way possible to kill the entire world. And if you guys don't know the goal of Plague Inc um anymore um Plague Inc is of is a game where you create a virus. You, there are like nine types of viruses that you want to create and beat. And to get to the next type of virus or disease type, you have to beat the previous disease type on normal. Or brutal, or extra brutal. So, yeah, if you guys want me to show you another video of Plague Inc., let me know by dropping a like and subscribing. 
And also, if you since you just saw that notification saying that my disease needs to evolve the kill, do not listen to it. I repeat, do not listen to it. Um, you do not want to start to evolve to kill people until you have the entire world infected. Because if you kill too fast, you you will kill all of your hosts, and then it won't spread anymore. So yeah. So we so we're getting Canada. We're almost done with New Zealand and we have Greenland. So global country or global warming, colder countries getting colder, warmer countries getting cold warmer. There are no healthy people left in the world. And I will and if you guys want to pause the video for the killing meta, you can and you can also write down notes. So first you want to evolve rash, sweating Skin le lesions, necrosis, and hemorrhage shock. Then insomnia to make them less productive. And then... And then... Um, new minor disease spreading in the U.S. has found it. First death in South Africa. And as you can see, our, de our de daily deaths are skyrocketing. So now we have 8 million... Now we have 12 million, 16 million, 16 million still. Oh, okay, there goes my dog. Okay, global research focused on cure 54 million deaths, killed more than smallpox. Um, and now, and now, because of that, you want to come on, hurry, hurry. And as you can see, the cure's growing up, which I don't want. It's going a little fast, which I'm not liking. So we're going to go ahead and evolve genetic hardening so it's harder for them to do, um, re do research for cure. Hurry, hurry, hurry. We do not want to lose this game. But this is guaranteed to work if you are if you are very, very unlucky. Like I'm kind of right now. Uh, they will, for some reason, the... The cure will go super, super fast, which you don't want, but you can't really change anything about it. But as you can see, we are pretty much guaranteed to win now, unless for some reason it jumps to like 99. So, go ahead and evolve genetic reshuffle again, and if you guys don't know what genetic reshuffle does, it pretty much just, um, like, kind of makes the cure go back in time. And as you can see, the cure is now slowing down because of the genetic hardening, genetic reshuffle, and the drug resistance. And since I kind of am a little impatient, go ahead and evolve one more thing, which really doesn't do much. <gasps> Actually, yeah, like last time, you want to refund all of this so you get more. So you can um, get more DNA points so you can kill everybody faster. Which is just better for you. So, yeah. And if you guys want more Plague Inc. or anything like that, please go ahead and let, let me know by subscribing and liking the video. And please go ahead and comment. It makes me want to read... Well, it makes me read them. And I like... Uh, communicating with you guys. It's really nice. And so, yeah. Just please go ahead and, and like or something. I want to get seizures, though. I always I always forget about seizures. The seizures upgrade. I always forget about it. Come on. I just need plus three. Plus three DNA points. Oh, well, but as you guys know, blah, right there, just said... The Caribbean's government has fallen, but it also just said that my virus was to destroy humanity. <gasps> yes! Well, it doesn't do much, but seizures! You got the seizures upgrade. I'm proud of myself. I barely get that upgrade because I kill too fast. But in a few seconds, right there, Medio. So, my virus, which is named Black Mama, has successfully eliminated all life on Earth. And I just took that screenshot for a thumbnail. So, yeah. <laughs> Sorry to tell you about that. But, go ahead next. Parasite. And if you guys want more Plague Inc. Next time, I'll 
I'll show you how to beat the pry, the pry on disease type. So, hope you guys enjoyed. If you have, go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Hope you have a great